As a part of the unification process, our Office of Refugee Resettlement facilitates travel for children in its custody to their families or sponsors across the country. So in recent weeks, uh, unaccompanied children pass through the Westchester Airport, which I think is what you're referring to, en route to their final destination to be unified with their parents or vetted sponsor. It's no surprise uh, that kids can be seen traveling through states, uh, not just New York. It's something that we're also working to unite children with their family members or vetted sponsors in other parts of the country as well. Hmm. I'm still mad over her laughing about the tragedy of the treadmill that's delayed. So you try to cleanse it. The palate is uncleansed. It remains uncleansed, Kane. Sorry about that. I just can't. I just can't. I mean, you have manufacturers struggling to, you, you have stores that don't have food on shelves because of this, but she's laughing about a treadmill example. <sighs> People are hoarding. Rising food costs. People are getting priced out of things that they need. And she thinks it's funny. Nice. Just so much class. Hmm. I'm just trying it because that's a new, this is all new stuff. So I, I, I don't know. I, this, th like I said, I think that's one of the petty, that's the pettiest thing I've ever heard her say. It's just classy or D class A and petty. I, I, I'm looking at a story here. Let me share this with you. Uh, food supply chain. Is some people were talking about how that's affected global food supply chain. Why is the supply chain all backed up? Everything from uh, medicine to batteries to chips. Uh, let's see. Albertson, CEO on food supply issues, saying that there's going to be an increase in the cost of food. Uh, I mean, this this is affecting everything. It's affecting medicine. It's threatening, you know, actual, you know, medical supplies and she's going to laugh over the treadmill these people are so damn out of touch and by the way shouldn't Pete, Pete Poot Buttigieg be answering questions on this I thoughts Kane you look like you have a well, smart aleck response well I do because she answers that question just now like I, I have the audio of her answering it just now and I'm wondering if you're going to align with what she says because she's saying that uh, more goods are being ordered because people have more money and wages are up. That's why we're seeing the backlog and this um, supply chain <sighs> issue. So if you want to hear it, we can Yes, play. go ahead. Thanks, Jen. Um, I just want to follow up on, on the supply chain that you just said was uh, you were seeing some serious progress on that front. So a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, there. So the port of Long Beach yesterday saw this new record broken. 100 vessels at anchor are waiting to enter. Normally, pre-COVID, they're seeing 17 ships, uh, give or take, at anchor. Is the president satisfied today on where things stand? The president is satisfied that progress continues to be made. And one of the reasons that uh, there has been uh, so much traffic uh, in a lot of these ports is because there are more goods that are being ordered by people across the country. People have more uh, money, expendable resources. Uh, their wages are up. More people are working than they were a year ago. Uh, and if you, and port to port, it's different. But statistically, some of these ports have 20 percent, 30 percent increased volume as a result result of that hmm none of that, was true. none of that is true that doesn't make thanks to inflation sense. wages aren't up yeah wages aren't up and in fact it's people's dollars are worth less than they were hmm 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 <laughs>